What's up guys? So today I'm doing something really weird for a video. So I thought I'd tie dye things today and by things I mean my socks and my underwear and my t-shirts. So I know I'm late to the trend because this was like a trend back in the first quarantine thing last year so I'm extremely late to the trend but I just wanted to just Wednesday night tie-dyeing things. So that's what I'm doing today and I'm going to film it for you guys. So I've got this like tie-dye studio kit thing from the store the other day. So it says here tie-dye studio, free fabric dyes, design book, gloves, 30 rubber bands. And as you can see here we've got all this colour-y tie dye things. So that's what I'm doing today. So yeah, I can't wait to make things colourful. So if you're excited if there's a few guys, I'd like to see you guys. Don't forget to also leave some comments as well for next time. And so yeah, let's get into this video. So we have a white t-shirt which I specifically bought for this video. So I've never had any cheap white t-shirts. Like all the white t-shirts I have are expensive and things, so I don't wanna obviously get tie-dye on them so I bought this £3 t-shirt from the store so I bought this t-shirt just for you guys so you guys should be very grateful. I've heard my white underwear so this is a pair of my white underwear which I'm gonna make colourful and then we also have these socks which says best dad ever even though I'm not a dad but these are the only socks which I have so I'm just gonna have to have to dad for this video and so yeah we're gonna open this thing up so the reason why I'm filming this kitchen is because I don't I get tie dyeing things all the bedroom carpet. So as you can see here, we got all these lovely tie dye things. So I'm gonna properly unbox it and then see what it looks like. Okay, so I've just opened up the box and realised that there's like no tie dye things. What happens here? Oh, so there's powder in here. So there's like powder in here, and you're supposed to fill it with water. So that's what you need to do. So I'm gonna fill this with water right now. So we have red tie dye powder, we have blue tie dye powder, and then we also have yellow, so I'm going to fill this up with water and then see what happens. Oh my god, so this is the red tie dye mix, so as you can see it's kind of dissolved into this red water, I don't know if you can see it or not because the camera's kind of exposed. Basically there's like red water in here, and this is the yellow water, why does it like pee? Like this thing literally looks like actual pee, I don't know why. Then this is the blue, as you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna put an apron on right now because I'm kind of scared of like getting tie dye things on this t-shirt, so I might put an old t-shirt on and see what happens. All right, so I'm back now, so I've just put on an old pajama t-shirt, so I'm gonna start tying these dye, tie dyes, tie dyeing these things. Wow, why did I get confused over that? So we've got this instruction manual, so we're gonna have a look through this. Okay, there's like loads of contents and things. I just want to know how to tie dye things. Dying the fabric. Decide which of the tie dye techniques you want to follow, then wrap the rubber bands tightly around your garment as suggested. So I'm going to do the typical tie dye things. So if you saw online, you're supposed to get a piece of your clothing and then kind of like circle essentially. So I'm going to move the camera a bit closer so you guys can see what's going on and then yeah. Okay, so I've got the white t-shirts here right now, so I'm going to try and dampen it first because I remember last time I tie-dyed, you're supposed to dampen the t-shirt first because the dye can like then run through the t-shirt and like kind of make it look nice. So I got this cup of water because I have no bottle spray, so I'm kind of having to use my fingers to like dampen the water. So that's me right now, so yeah. Okay, so I've dampened it to the best I can do with my hands, so the t-shirt's kind of damp now, so I'm gonna do the next thing now. So the last time I did it, I got a fork and then kind of like twizzle it around as you would with spaghetti, so I kind of got this and decided sort of twizzling it around, like so. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so satisfying. So now I'm gonna get the elastic back. Which are here, yeah, so we've got to take white elastic bands which look kind of cute. So then you're supposed to put elastic bands like here, yeah, so I'm gonna do it like that. Oh my god, why is it coming about? So I'm gonna get a bunch of newspapers and things to, like protect this work surface and then it should be good to go. Okay, so I'm about to get a bunch of bin liners to kind of like protect the work surface, so that's what we're now. So now you're supposed to get these coloured tie dyes and start colouring it with dye. So I might do one colour here, then another colour on this section, and then so on so forth. So that's what I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do that and show you guys what it looks like. So let's do 
this. So I got these lovely plastic gloves provided by the Tally Kit. So I actually hate wearing these kind of plastic gloves because for some reason, anytime I try out any toy kits or craft kits and things and supply gloves. Like, you supply these, like, really thin, cheap gloves, which kind of, like, rip because my hands are that large. And so, they just, like, literally rip all the time, so they make them useless, but I have every faith that these gloves will be good. Let's do this. Ta-da! Here's what my tie-dye stuff looks like. So, I've just finished tie-dyeing this thing right now. So, I think it's supposed to turn over things. I'm not sure though. Okay, so I've got a pair of white underwear here. So, I'm going to try and make this colourful. So, okay, so I'm going to do the same thing as I did last time. I'm just kind of like use the knife and twirl it around like spaghetti and then so on and so forth. Oh my god, this feels weird tie-dyeing my underwear. Like, I don't think anybody's ever done this. Okay, so unlike the t-shirt where I literally just put a dot of colour into it, I literally made sure to smother the entire section with yellow, so that's what I'm going to do with the red and then the blue and then so on and so on. That's it, get in the... So here's what my underwear looks like, so I'm going to leave that to dry right now and then um, we'll concentrate on the next. Okay, so I'm gonna do something a little different. So instead of like twirling it around, like putting different sections in like a, a different colour, I'm gonna just, like do a drop of each colour onto the bin liner and then kind of like dip the sock into the bin liner, pull the colour and then see what comes out with. So I'm gonna put a drop into the bin liner and then see what happens then. Okay, I'm so nervous, so I'm just gonna get this sock and then kind of. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it flat. Let the colours kind of like soak into the thing. Oh my god. Ta-da! Okay, so basically, here's what it looks like. So essentially, I just kind of just like put a few drops of colour into the bin liner, onto the bin liner, and then sort of dipped the sock into the bin liner. So all the colour from the bin liner is like soaked into the sock, which actually looks really good. So I thought it looked terrible, but this thing actually looks quite good. So I'm going to do one right now, and then, yeah. Two hours later. Alright, so I've managed to tie dye all the things here right now. So we have this tie dye t shirt, the tie dye underwear. Oh my god, that's so scandalous. And then we have these socks as well, which look pretty good. So we have here, get dad a beer. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this thing to dry overnight because it takes like a day or two to dry. And then once it's all dry and things, I'll show them off. So. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Right, so it's the next day now, as you can see, because I'm dressed in completely different clothes and the sun is shining, hence why I've got like a reddish glow on my face for some reason. Anyway, so we got the tie-dye thing, so I let these dry outside overnight because it was really hot last night, so I let these dry in the heat and they look so good. So I'm gonna try this on right now, so to be honest, I'm gonna be really honest, I'm not a huge fan of the back though. Like the back just kind of looks like a mess, but I'm not sure now. I'll have to unlasticate it to see what it looks like, but... And then we have my underwear, so... We have all this, which looks really good. I am obsessed. And then we have these socks, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge fan of, but... I mean, I guess it'll look good anyway, so... I'm gonna unlasticate all these right now, and then I'm gonna try this on, so... Let's try this. Well, here's what my t-shirt looks like, so... This is actually kind of disappointing, because it does not look very colourful. Like, I don't know, there's like not much colour here. There's like only coloured dots and things, like... It's not exactly... The ones I saw were like the whole entire t-shirt has like pattern colours or has this swirly rainbow thing. I think it's to do also because I don't really follow the instructions properly. I was doing like the cross elastic band technique thing. I can't remember what I did but most of the colours were on the shoulder bit for some reason. And then when you look at the back, there's like barely any colour at all. So, I mean, this is actually kind of disappointing but I mean, it's all good. Like... I guess I can pull it off. We don't have the underwear, so this looks um interesting. Okay, so I can't take back saying what I said about this t-shirt being disappointing because I feel like this actually looks quite good. So got the white underwear here, then you got the t-shirt thing. I feel like this actually looks quite good. Like 
feel like this is something that I've rambled through or something. Next up, we got the socks, which um, does not look very good in my opinion. Like, this looks a mess, so. I mean, I guess it looks kind of good to somebody else, but to me, it does not look good. Like, it literally looks like as if I was sick all over it or something. Like, it does not look good. But other than that, like, the rest of the outfit looks quite good, actually. Like, I think I'm obsessed with this. So, more of the story, art is what you make it so. Even if you don't think this looks good, this piece of art will look good to somebody else. So, comment down what you want me to do next for this channel. I want to kind of, like, make more videos. So, comment down the videos I should be making. So, yeah, so I can upload more and make more videos that you guys like. And so, yeah, hope you guys are having the greatest day ever. I'll see you guys in another video. Good night and goodbye.